The University of Queensland (UQ) is threatening to expel a student activist for organizing several pro-Hong Kong rallies on UQ's main campus and for criticizing the school's relationship with the Chinese regime. An internal email from UQ shows a member of its communication team asking the university's deputy vice chancellor to notify the Chinese consulate about the pro-Hong Kong protests. Drew Pavlo, a 20-year-old philosophy student, organized several demonstrations in support of Hong Kong protesters and criticized the Chinese regime's repression of Uyghurs and Tibetans. Following the protests and Pavlo's criticism of the Chinese Communist Party's human rights abuses and the university's ties to the regime, he was summoned to a disciplinary hearing. Pavlo walked out of the hearing after UQ's disciplinary panel refused to provide access to documents he had sought for his defense. UQ published the internal emails on July 24, 2019, after Pavlo gave a press conference in which he questioned UQ's relationship with Beijing. Now people are looking and they're say, saying, "Wow, this guy, Drew Pavlo, he's a student critic of the Chinese government, and now he's being threatened with expulsion. How could that happen in Australia?" Well, we've been setting it up for ourselves for years and years and years, and now it's now it's clear. Should have been clearer earlier. Concerns about the Chinese regime's infiltration of the West have been on the rise during the pandemic and have brought Pavlo's case international attention. The regime set up Confucius Institutes to spread its influence in overseas universities. Beijing says the institutes promote Chinese language and culture, but the CCP has openly admitted that the institutes are an important part of China's overseas propaganda apparatus. UQ's vice chancellor, Professor Peter Hoi, was a senior consultant to Beijing's Global Confucius Institute headquarters, or Hanban, from 2013 to 2018. The Hanban is responsible for more than 500 Confucius institutes operating in universities and schools across the world. On May 12th, a UQ whistleblower gave Australian Senator James Patterson a copy of last year's senior staff remuneration report. The report shows the vice chancellor received a $130,000 bonus in 2019 from UQ, based partly on his success in growing the university's relationship with China. UQ is now seeking jail time against me as a student because I criticized their relationship to the Chinese government. Last July, Pablo helped organize a pro-Hong Kong rally on UQ's main campus. The rally turned violent when pro-CCP students arrived on the scene. The local Chinese Council General Xu Jie issued a statement the following day, describing the event as anti-China separatist activities and praised the counter-protesters for their acts of patriotism. Since then, Pablo has received hundreds of death threats, including some aimed at his family. At no point really has the university ever really tried to protect me. Pablo filed a complaint with Xu three months later, saying the council general played a role in inciting threats and violence against him. He successfully obtained subpoenas addressed to Xu, and a court hearing was scheduled for April 24, 2020. But days before his publicly listed court proceedings, UQ threatened him with expulsion. The institution set out a 186-page document with 11 allegations of misconduct against Pavlo. One of the allegations claims that his online posts harassed, bullied, threatened, or abused Confucius Institute staff, referring to a photo posted on Twitter of Pavlo wearing what looks like an orange biosafety suit in front of the Confucius Institute. He said in the tweet. As a student representative, it's my job to keep students safe. That's why I've placed the UQ Confucius Institute under total and complete lockdown until biohazard risk is contained. And a similar post online shows Pavlo in front of the UQ's vice chancellor's office. The allegation states that the messages and signs he posted prejudiced the reputation of the university to the extent that they publicly sought to suggest that the Chinese staff of the Confucius Institute were infected with the COVID-19 virus. Pavlo replied in a tweet saying that some interpreted the pranks as a malicious act and that he didn't target anyone's ethnicity. He said, "I distinguish the Chinese state from the Chinese people, and I was satirically mocking an arm of the Chinese state for covering up the pandemic in its earliest stages." Pavlo said, "This is an extraordinary move for a public university to take, spending thousands of dollars to silence a student." 
we're looking towards appealing this outside the university eventually because I don't believe anything inside the university will be fair or trustworthy. I think they've already made up the decision they're going to try and expel me. I don't fear. I, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm going to continue fighting. A petition against Pavlo's expulsion reached more than 37,000 signatures as of May 22, 2020.